Almost 30 million Americans were considered to be current illicit drug users in 2014. Drugs interact with the brain and body to alter moods, emotions, and behavior by changing brain chemistry and a person's perceptions, and by impacting how individuals interact with the world around them. Mind-altering drugs may slow down or speed up the central nervous system and autonomic functions for living, such as blood pressure, respiration, heart rate, and body temperature. Levels of some of the brain's chemical messengers or neurotransmitters are also impacted by drug abuse, including dopamine. This neurotransmitter regulates moods, enhances pleasure, and is involved with movement, reward, and reinforcing behaviors, motivation, and attention. Serotonin. This neurotransmitter is responsible for stabilizing moods and regulating emotions. Gamma-aminobutric acid, or GABA, acts as a natural tranquilizer, mitigating the stress response and lowering anxiety levels, as well as slowing down functions of the central nervous system. Norepinephrine. Similar to adrenaline, norepinephrine is often called the stress hormone as it speeds up the central nervous system in response to the fight-or-flight response. It also homes focus and attention while increasing energy levels. Regions of the brain are disrupted by drug abuse, brainstem, limbic system, and cerebral cortex are all affected. The brainstem controls life-sustaining functions, including sleeping, breathing, and heart rate, while the limbic system holds the brain's reward circuitry and helps to control emotions and the ability to feel happiness. The cerebral cortex is considered the thinking center of the brain, managing problem-solving, planning, and decision-making abilities, as well as helping people to process information provided by their senses. The more often drugs are used, the more they will impact brain chemicals and circuitry, which can lead to drug independence and withdrawal symptoms when the drugs process out of the body. Marijuana is the most regularly used illicit drug in the United States, and its use is especially common among adolescents and young adults. The psychoactive chemical in marijuana, Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, interacts and binds with cannabinoid receptors in the brain, producing a mellowing and relaxing effect. Regions of the brain with high concentrations of cannabinoid receptors are heavily impacted. One such part of the brain, the hippocampus, manages short-term memory, meaning that marijuana use can impede recollection of recent events. Additional regions of the brain that are impacted include the cerebellum and basal ganglia, which help to control coordination and involuntary muscle movements respectively. When someone abuses marijuana, impaired motor skills, mood alterations, distorted time and sensory perception, decreased memory, and trouble thinking clearly and solving problems are all common short-term side effects. Marijuana also interferes with levels of dopamine in the brain, causing the euphoric high. Marijuana also has several long-term side effects on the brain, which are especially prevalent in individuals who use the drug before the brain is fully developed. Marijuana use in adolescence and continued on into adulthood may result in a loss of IQ points that are not recoverable even with abstinence. Also, initiating marijuana use before turning age 18 raises the risk for addiction as an adult. As a person ages, neurons in the hippocampus are naturally lost, and marijuana use may speed up this process, leading to memory problems. Impaired coordination, learning issues, and sleep problems can result from long-term marijuana use and its impact on the brain. There are also links between marijuana use and the onset of psychosis and psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia in those who are genetically vulnerable. Breathing and respiration problems, chronic cough, and bronchitis are additional possible consequences of chronic marijuana smoking. Marijuana use can also disrupt heart rhythm and normal cardiac functions. Heroin and prescription opioid drugs like Oxycontin, Vicodin, Fentanyl, Methadone, and Dilaudid bind to opioid receptors in the brain and trigger the release of dopamine. In a sense, these drugs hijack the limbic system in the brain, inducing a powerful high that individuals are often keen to recreate leading to reinforcing behaviors. Over 2.5 million Americans battle opioid addiction. Heroin is considered the fastest acting opioid, taking effect nearly immediately and making it extremely addictive. When someone takes an opioid drug repeatedly, they can develop a tolerance to it as the body gets used to its interaction in the brain. Individuals may then take more of the drug to feel the desired effects. The brain will then stop functioning as it did before introduction of the opioid, causing levels of dopamine to drop when the drug wears off. Opioid drugs also disrupt the natural production of norepinephrine and act as central nervous system depressants. 
opioids block pain sensations, induce drowsiness, reduce body temperature, and slow heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration functions. Opioid overdose is an all too common consequence of opioid abuse, which can often result in severe respiratory depression that can be fatal. 60% of all overdose deaths involve an opioid drug, and 91 people in the U.S. alone die from an opioid overdose each day. Long-term, chronic heroin use may also result in the deterioration of some of the brain's white matter, which can negatively impact the way a person responds to stress, regulates emotions, and makes decisions, NIDA publishes. Lung complications and infections of the lining of the heart are additional long-term concerns surrounding perpetuated opioid drug abuse. Cocaine, methamphetamine, and prescription amphetamines, such as those used to treat ADHD like Adderall and Ritalin, are classified as stimulant drugs. This means that they speed up the central nervous system, increasing heart rate, body temperature, and blood pressure while increasing energy levels, focus, attention, alertness, and wakefulness. They also suppress appetite. Cocaine and meth, especially, produce an intense high as they rapidly flood the brain with dopamine. The high is generally fairly short-lived, however, and cocaine is often abused in a binge pattern to try and extend the euphoria. The crash that comes after a stimulant high can be significant, leaving a person feeling extremely fatigued, hungry, irritable, mentally confused, and depressed, which is followed by intense cravings. Stimulant drugs are extremely addictive due to the way they impact dopamine levels and affect the limbic reward system. Regular cocaine abuse can lead to paranoia and negatively impact functions of the central nervous system, causing cardiac arrhythmias, sudden cardiac arrest, ischemic heart conditions, a respiratory syndrome unique to snorting cocaine, hypertension, convulsions, stroke, and death. Meth has similar effects on the brain and central nervous system, and individuals who abuse it regularly may suffer from hallucinations, anxiety, and confusion as well. Meth also significantly damages the dopamine system in the brain, which can cause problems with memory and learning, movement, and emotional regulation issues. Long-term abstinence may not reverse all of the negative brain changes incurred by meth abuse. Such abuse may also increase the risk for the onset of Parkinson's disease, a nerve disorder impacting movement. Ecstasy, also known as Molly or by its chemical name, MDMA, is a popular club and psychoactive drug. It binds to serotonin transporters in the brain and has both stimulant and hallucinogenic properties. Within about an hour after ecstasy enters the bloodstream, it stimulates the activity of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Ecstasy stimulates a sense of emotional closeness and warmth while enhancing and distorting the senses, heightening energy levels, decreasing anxiety, and increasing feelings of pleasure. Heart rate, body temperature, and blood pressure are also elevated by ecstasy use. Hyperthermia, high blood pressure, panic attacks, faintness, involuntary teeth clenching, blurred vision, nausea, sweating, chills, arrhythmia, heart failure, kidney failure, dehydration, loss of consciousness, and seizures are possible side effects of ecstasy abuse and or overdose. Ecstasy is also commonly combined with alcohol or other drugs or cut with toxic substances, which can have potentially hazardous consequences. Molly, often heralded as the pure form of ecstasy, may contain any number of adulterants or chemicals that can have toxic effects. A class of drugs that leads to distortions of reality and perceptions, hallucinogens are typically broken down into two main categories. Classic hallucinogens, such as LSD, peyote, psilocybin, DMT, ayahuasca, and disassociative drugs such as PCP, salvia, DXM, ketamine. It is not certain exactly how these drugs work in the brain, however, it is largely understood that they interrupt normal communication between neurotransmitters. Disassociative drugs are believed to disrupt the action of glutamate, a brain chemical that is involved with memories, cognition, emotions, and how people perceive pain. PCP interacts with dopamine as well, while salvia activates the kappa opioid receptor present on nerve cells. Disassociative drugs can make people feel separate from themselves, their environment, and reality. This can result in impaired motor functions, auditory and visual distortions, memory loss, anxiety, numbness, and body tremors. Because of addiction's complexity and pervasive consequences, drug addiction treatment typically must involve many components. Some of these components focus directly on the individual's drug use. Others, like employment training, 
focus on restoring the addictive individual to productive membership in the family and society, enabling him or her to experience the rewards associated with abstinence. Treatment for drug abuse and addiction is delivered in many different settings using a variety of behavioral and pharmacological approaches. In the United States, more than 14,500 specialized drug treatment facilities provide counseling, behavioral therapy, medication, case management, and other types of services to persons with substance use disorders. Along with specialized drug treatment facilities, drug abuse and addiction are treated in physicians' offices and mental health clinics by a variety of providers, including counselors, physicians, psychiatrists, psychologists, nurses, and social workers. A person might need one or more types of treatment to get over their addiction. It is never too late to start on a path to recovery.